Judge Walker, let us own that beaten's court. Hello, Judge Walker, you're our court of last resort. Our marriage is up against the wall, we won't get on TV and tell it all. Judge Walker, let us own that beaten's court. Hello, is this Judge Walker or People's Court? This here's Arlo Drucker of Arlo's One Stop Gas Station, Beer Ice Bread Milk Mini Mart, and All Night Video Tape Rental. Judge, what we got here is a marriage that's a regular catastrophe. That's right, me and my wife, Myrna Louise, while once passionately in love, now find that life has dealt us a cruel blow. Yes, as we have matured, our tastes have changed, and we've grown apart intellectually, philosophically, politically, and our recreation and culinary interests now fall along parallel lines that shall never again intersect. What I mean, Judge, is uh, I can't stand that woman. Incompatible? No, I just hate her guts. About the only thing we can agree on is to get on your program and fight this thing out. Now, Myrna Louise's mama has even knitted us his and hers matching triple-knit leisure suits for the occasion. The litigants are entering the courtroom. The plaintiff, Arlo Druckert, and the defendant, his wife, Myrna Louise. Mr. Druckert is filing for divorce on the grounds that Myrna Louise has become an aerobics and health food nut who no longer shares his life's interests of watching TV, eating large quantities of junk food, and carp fishing. No, I just hate her guts! Hello, Judge Walker, let us own that people's court. Hello, Judge Walker, you're our court of last resort. My marriage is up against the wall, we won't get on the TV and tell it all. Judge Walker, let us own that people's court. The judge has reviewed the case in his chambers and is about to speak. I know you've been sworn and I've read your complaint. I've spent several hours going over the files that you've both presented and find this hard to believe. Myrna Louise, is it true that you suddenly stopped preparing a breakfast of ham, eggs, grits, biscuits, and cream gravy for Arlo after having done so for six years and insist that he now eat a bowl of spinach crispies sprinkled with wheat germ and topped with kumquat yogurt? I just want him to be healthy. And Arlo, is it true that without Myrna Louise's knowledge or consent, you emptied out the entire contents of your ant colony into her best pair of one-size-fits-all pantyhose that she used as workout leotards? Yeah, I did, Judge. I thought if she wanted to do them aerobic exercises, I'd really help her get them pudgy little legs off the ground. You should have seen the Judge trying to get them bangs off. Made Jane find her look like Roy Orbison. I mean, them little far ants will think you some moves. Dismissed. The People's Court rules in favor of Myrna Louise. The litigants are now leaving the courtroom. Here comes Myrna Louise. You must be pretty happy. The judge ruled in your favor and gave you everything. I just appreciate that Judge Walker so much. I've been thanking this over, however, and I do want to be fair. While there ain't a bit thick bone in my aerobic condition, quivering fire ain't ravaged body. I'm gonna let Arlo keep his ant colony in a star foam miner bucket. And here comes Arlo, our disillusioned convenience store owner. I'm still pretty dad burned disillusioned to tell you that. My marriage to Myrna Louise was my fourth, and I ain't come out of a one up. I've decided I ain't gonna get married again. No, sir, I'm just gonna go out every three or four years, find a woman to hate, and buy her a house. But even though I lost, I still recommend all you folks with problems call up the judge and say, Hello, Judge Walton, let us on that beat store. Hello, Judge Walton. You're our court of last resort. Our lives are rough against the wall. Won't get on TV and tell it all. Just walk and let us on that beat go. I said, hello, Judge Walton. Let us on that people's court. Hello, Judge Walton. You're our court of last resort. Our lives are rough against the wall. Won't get on TV and tell it all. Just walk and let us on that people's court.